I'm here with Bright and Tom. We're outside the Mali. United have lost again. Deja vu, eh, Tom? Deja vu, mate. Exact same scoreline, exact same performance. There's too much. You can understand what Solskjaer is trying to do, trying to get the best out of the players, but the way we, we the way we set up today wasn't the best. Ash for Young at centre half is not not the way forward. He's not even the best position, best player at right back in our club, and he's playing at centre half. So I think he was poor. Pogba was poor. McTominay was all right. Fred tried getting on the ball, and then he gave away the ball for the goal. So I think that that dropped his confidence. But we, like I said, we kept chopping and changing. We started off with a back three. And then Young got sent off, went to a back four, and then Phil Jones comes on, we go to a back three. And then he takes Darrow off, who's probably our only threat down that right hand side. And then we had nothing after that and the game just sort of like sort of petered out. But I don't, I think the season's gone now, like we're not gonna win the Champions League, top four maybe. But I think it's just looking to next season now. And if you look at that squad that started, how many would you realistically have in next season's lineup? How many? I think three? De Gea, Pogba, Lindelof, that's it. Maybe Luke Shaw as well, so four. You spoke about Pogba earlier. The comments he's made recently, Oli said there's nothing wrong with them. He's, he spoke to him, but his performances since then haven't been great. Do you put that down to the team around him performance as well? Um, or is he, you know, what's... Do you f I'm worried by that, Michael. I am worried, yeah. I think since the PSG game, he, he didn't even play in that PSG game, and I think everyone's form and performances have just dipped a lot. But it's like watching Mourinho now, and it just shows that yeah, Mourinho was at fault, but those players don't look like they want it as well. When they're going get tough, you've got to dig your heels in, you've got to put some battles in, and you've got to look like you want it. And none of them players really out there look like they did want it. So it shows that, yeah, obviously management, the tactics got to be better, but the players out there have got to perform. And if you're not performing on the pitch, don't go saying stuff like that off the pitch. You can see Ander Herrera wanted 200 grand a week. Let him go. If he wants 200 grand a week, let him go. Yeah, he's, he's been a good servant for the club, but... There's much better players that you can get for 150 grand a week to 200 grand a week than them. You said the season's done, you top four gone, you think? With Arsenal playing the way they are and Tottenham, yeah, they might bottle it, but honestly, mate, I don't know. Performances like that, we won't get it, but we've still got City to play as well. We have got City to play. Brian, what do you make of that today, man? Um, I, I thought the idea in terms of setting up as a back three was right, but the personnel wasn't right. Like, you've got Baye, you've got... Like, obviously, I don't know if Rocco's fit, but you've got Bay, you've got maybe even Damian that you could throw in there. He's played as a, a centre half in the past, but Ashley Young just got torn apart. He got torn apart every time Yotta got the ball. He just ran at him every time. I was like, I'll, I'll take you on toast. And Yotta got him both the yellow cards and got him sent off. So I, I just don't see the logic in playing someone like that at, at a centre half. I thought Dallow did well on the right hand side, but then when you need that little bit of extra in the, in the final third, I didn't, just didn't think we had it. Just didn't think we had it. I didn't think we had Jess. I didn't think Jess was fully fit. I didn't think Rom was anywhere near he needs to be. Um, but you want them, just pick your heels up and move on because Wolves are really good against the top six. They're the top team. City, City, the only team to beat them. And they set up in a certain way. They set up behind the ball and they go from there. So we go where we are. We go where we are. But I just think it's one of them. The season will, will peter itself out now and then you've got to wait till the summer. But you've just got to be patient. You have to be patient. Understand that it's not always squad. It's not always team. It's not always set up. And we'll go again. Young sent off, smalling on goal. Um, some on social media, absolute meltdown. Do you think they're right to be worried by those? The fact that those players are still playing for us, or do you think it's over the top? The problem that you have is, is always not being able to sign anybody. So he, he's going to have players who are deadwood that he'll see as deadwood, and the ones that he could have shipped out, he has shipped out, or he's left out, or he's not played. So we'll just work on that in the summer. We, we all know Ashley Young's not good enough for the team as he is. He probably wasn't good enough when he signed and he's not got any better in age. Um, Small has been given a new deal, but that'll be more in a, in a kind of backup role, same as Phil Jones, and then he'll start to ship out your likes of Rojo, your Damian, your other... You're still confident in Oli? Still? Um, you're yeah, not worried you, you can't. You can't be worried. You can't. Well, three out of the last four now. Yeah, but you can't back him for two, three months and then say you're a little bit worried when we, we have a dip in form, because teams do have dips in form. The only thing that will work well for us now is we go into next week with no kind of problem, no issue. We don't care. Like, we'll go and just might as well just go and attack Barcelona and not give a shit with it, because we did it against PSG. Went to their place and just sat and just went, and every time we got the ball, we wanted to go forward with it every time. Um, but you just you just think that now those that set that group of lads are going to have to start waking up as soon as possible. Going to have to start realising that it's not plain sailing anymore. You're not going to get easy games. You're not going to get easy rides, and we're going to have to work hard for three points every Time week. Time for players to start fighting for their space in the squad as well. Next, yeah. we've, we've, 
I said, I said during the game, we've got no leader. You look out on the pitch, Ash Young's captain out when I listen to him. You can hear, you can see him screaming at players when he's not. I think his first five, six passes were just long balls into the channel and went nowhere. So we need an experienced member in that back four because when you go one nil down, you look around at the pitch, who's trying to rally the team? Who are you going to listen to when you need it most to pick the team up and go, I'll grab you all, I'll roll my socks up and I'll put a challenge in. There's no one out there at the minute and you've got to go out and you've got to buy someone. You have, at this moment in time, we don't need, you're seeing rumours like if Herrera's got inside Neves, we don't, yeah, he's a good player, but we need someone who's the best in the world. We're Man United, you know what I mean? We should attract the best in the world. We're not at that stage where we can, where we can buy players and like make them into a, a good player. We need a good player that's going to be a great player, not an all right player at the minute. That's what we need.